Hello, and thank you for joining Asta La Vista. Asta La Vista provides easy-to-use cloud-based security scans for any internet-connected device. All you need is the IP address or FKDN of your target, and you're ready to go. In this video, I'll show you how to buy credits, create a scan, start a scan, view the reports, and get in touch with us. Let's start by logging in. In the login prompt, you'll be given two options. You can either log in if you already have an account, or you can register one for free. To register an account for free, you simply click on the link Register Now for Free, and we ask you now for your email and password. If you simply fill in those and accept the terms and conditions, click Register, and you'll receive an email which you'll have to confirm. Once you do that, you're ready to log in. Now let's go back and log in. You click the login button. And now you're logged into the system. The system greets you with the first steps. This is a walkthrough that helps you in your first contact with the platform. You can simply follow it and it will give you more information. Execute the scan and view the reports, as well as giving us feedback. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will close this and I will guide you through it. You are now inside the Astal Vista platform. Here you can make security scans, view the reports, top up credits, change your user account and provide us with feedback. Let's start by topping up with some credits. You simply cl click on the credits tab and then click on recharge credits. At the time of filming this, we had three packages, starter, regular, and power user. With the power user, you'll get your best value for your money, where you'll get 30 credits at the price of 2 dollars per credit. Now, you can pay with PayPal, and doing that is pretty simple. You simply click here, and you're directed to the PayPal page. You can do, use that to pay with Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, or PayPal itself. There you go you're directed to the PayPal page where you can confirm and continue. Now, let's go back and create a new scan. Let's say I bought some credits and I can now go to the security scans and create a scan. To do this, simply enter your IP address or URL Let's say I want to scan You choose your scan technique At the time being we have 5 options here Which is advanced scan, advanced web, default scan, free top 1000 port scan and web fuzzer When you click on them you'll see a description and the cost of it Let's say for this demonstration, I will choose an advanced web. I click on the box saying that I have the permission to scan this box and click save. Your data is checked and your scan is created. You can now see the scan that I just created right here. This scan has never been started and to start it, I can simply click on start scan. This will give you a confirmation page which you can finish and click on start scan. Again, for the purpose of this demonstration, I will not start the scan and I will simply show you the reports. So this is a scan I made previously, which already has a report, which I'll show you right now. I click on the reports. And I see the report right here. With some detailed information of how long it took when it started, when it finished, as well as what was the operating system that was detected, what was the assets, a pie chart with detailing information saying if 
they were significant, heavy, or information, and a list of the vulnerabilities found. When you click on a vulnerability and expand on it, you can see more information as well as solutions. You can do this for every vulnerability listed. It's also open, it's also, uh, it is also possible to see the open ports, a summary by service, as well as other filters on the top. You can group them by plugin family. You can group them by ports. or the default as it was list. Let me show you the user account. In the user account page, simply as a demo, you can change your language, you can change your time zone, you can change the length of lists, you can define if you want to see the first steps or not, newsletter, if you want to help us improve our statistics by giving us anonymous statistics, change your passwords, and delete your account. All very straightforward, easy to use, just like we wanted on Asla Vista. We want you to focus on your vulnerabilities and less on our system. Last but not least, Once you've viewed the reports, if you want to view a past report, you can always click on the Reports tab. This will show you all the past reports you've, you've done. This will show you all the past reports you've executed, and you can simply click and view them with ease. Last but not least, the Feedback tab. The Feedback tab helps us improve our service. By getting feedback from our users, we are able to change the platform. Um, the, feedback form, the Feedback tab is one of the most important for us. We're able to collect feedback from our users and improve the platform as we go along. This is very, very important for us so that we know exactly what you want and that we can do it for you. If you don't feedback us, we don't know which direction to take. No. The feedback form is, is a very... The feedback tab is very important for us. This is where we get the feedback from our users so that we are able to change the platform to your needs and adapt as we go along. Make sure you read the facts before starting any scan. You can simply click on the fact on the top right, and this will give you the most frequently asked questions. Listed by number of accesses. So the most important information 
most relevant is on the top. Make sure you read the facts before starting any scan. This is very important as many of the questions clients have Make sure you read the facts before starting any scan. You can find the fact on the top right. Make sure you read the facts on the Make sure you read the facts before starting any scan. You can find the facts on the top right corner of the page. Simply click on it and you'll be shown all the facts. When you're done, simply log out of your account on the top right corner. Thank you for listening to this recording and welcome to Hasta La Vista once again. Once you've started the scan, uh, once you've started the scan, a bar will display its progress, and you'll be able to see when the scan is finished. If you don't want to stay on the page, that's not a problem. You can always leave and come back later, as you will receive an email showing you. Once you start the scan, you'll be able to see its progress on this page. Once you start the scan, you'll be able to see the progress on this page. You can then leave the page and come back once the scan is finished. You will know that because you will receive an email once the scan is finished. Once you start the scan, you can see its progress on this page. You can then leave the page and come back after the scan is finished. You will receive an email once the scan is completed. Once you log in, you are greeted with the Activity tab. Here you can see everything that happened in your accounts. Once you log in, you'll be able to see the Activity tab. Here you can see everything that happened in your accounts, such as login, login failures, scans, credit purchases, and reports generated.